I'm Donnie Baker, and these are my river confessions. This weekend, man, I don't know if I was desperate or, I don't know, they always say get three estimates. My cousin Lonnie set me up on this blind date with a chick who was bigger, and I knew she was bigger. I mean, she's got a real little mousy face, but a big ass, you know. I used to call her P.T. Cruiser because she was hot for like two years. Well, next thing I know, we get together and I'd heard the rumors about her being big. I know she had big forearms though, like she has a shake weight, so one thing leads to another and I hear what she likes. And she wants me to go down on her. So I was like, but I'm thinking them forearms, I'll get a tuggy out of it. It's like take a penny and leave a penny. Fair enough. So we go back to her place, and there ain't no air conditioning. But thank God she's, you know, got an Astro van. I mean, no more payments, owns it livestock and barrel. It runs code air, ice code, like, like we was in a Yeti. Next thing you know, she's like, okay, remember except for what I told you. And I wasn't concerned about starting, I probably know more about going down on a girl below the border than anybody I know has. But she's wearing layers in the summer. And, I mean, I, I wasn't worried about peeling the spanks off of her. I've, I've skinned a mud cat before. It's just, like, well, you're gonna see once it's there. I turned the dome light off, just out of respect for our condition. Next thing you know, I've got no idea where to navigate. My face is like, I feel like I'm doing more damage with my nose and my tongue. You know, she's moaning, but that's only because the seatbelt was stuck in her butt. So we scooched toward the back of the van. And next thing you know, I just finally admitted I come up for air. I was like, baby, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm one of them guys that likes instructions. It turns me on to get instructions. I like you tell me where, how you like it done. You know, I like instructions that way. That's why I buy Chef Boardy box pizza. I can't afford to join us. She's like, okay. I'll go back down there, I don't hear shit. You know, she moans a little bit, but that's about it. Cause she had one of them uh, frupas. Uh, if you know what frupa is, I'd go to the library. I'd heard about it. It's called frontal upper pussy extension. It's like a, um, like a car cover. It's how horses don't show their teeth until they see an apple. Same difference. So finally I'll work around that frupa, you know. Just a lot of gristle. So then I finally, I could tell it ain't working. I come up and I said, I swear to God, baby, I'm sorry. I ain't quite sure where to begin. I'm just nervous. And if I don't know where to begin, you sure as hell ain't going to end from it. She just stared at me, grabbed me by the scalp. You know, and I was worried about going back down again because there's so much baby powder, I was afraid my tips would be frosted. She just looked at me like this, shoved me back down, and she goes, proceed to the root. I swear to God, 